Hi, how are you doing today? This is Rich from behalf of Rich TV Live with our very special guest. It is Daryl Rader, the CEO and president of Minerum Gold. How are you doing today, Daryl? Fine, thanks for having me on the show, Rich. Thank you for being here. I'm very excited to speak with you today and learn a little bit more about your company. Can you give us and our audience a brief overview of Minerum and its founders? Yeah, so we founded Minerum about uh, 10 years ago. We had a number of the same individuals that, discover, that put together Mag Silver, uh, which is an advanced silver developer in Mexico, has discovered over 200 million ounces. Wow. And they wanted to do in the gold space what they had done in the silver space, which is find new discoveries. And so we put a team together. We brought Peter McGaugh from Mag Silver fame over. We brought David Jones, who's sort of known as Mr. Guerrero Gold Belt, co founder of Torex Gold. Uh, the discover of Los Filos, which is a uh, 15, 16 million ounce uh, gold. Uh, it's a deposit that's uh, the largest producer for Equinox gold in Mexico. And then we put the team together with the objective to basically find new district scale gold and silver projects in Mexico. And so what we're looking for is on the gold side, we'd like to see at least two to three million ounce potential. On the silver side, at least 100 million ounce potential. And the objective here is just to just find one of these deposits, advance it through its various different levels of exploration, through to some point where we either monetize it or uh, bring in a bigger partner to put it into production. Great. Can you tell us about your flagship Alamos Silver Project and the recently commenced Phase 2 drilling program? Yeah, so a couple of years ago, back in 2015, 2016, we were looking for some new assets right at the bottom of the depressed market. And our initial focus had been on gold, and we have a number of gold projects still, but the Alamos project really represented a virgin silver district that had seen tr a tremendous amount of historical production but had never seen modern exploration. So this was a district that had produced over 200 million ounces of silver out of just three mines on two veins. We went in with our view of finding new things and we basically ignored the historical camp and focused on finding new veins that had never seen historical production. Um, one of the things was, the reason this project was actually available back then was it took almost about five years and two million dollars US to consolidate for the first time. This project until about 2012 looked like a jigsaw puzzle and it had been such since the time of the Mexican Revolution when production had stopped and it took a family out of Hermosillo all these years to put the project together. Funny enough at the same time they were doing that they put together the Santa Elena project which became Silvercrest number one was ultimately bought out by First Majestic and this, this family is still very active on the ground for us. They're doing our community relations, permitting, um, they're actually doing our drilling activities. Um, they're doing all the same things for Silvercrest number two at Las Chispas. So it was, it really represented coming into a new district, being the first group that can actually do exploration over the entire district. And what we did is we spent two and a half years, we drilled 19,000 meters, proving that this was a big district. We discovered over 26 new veins outside of the three historical ones. Right. None of these other veins had seen historical production. And we basically drilled off probably five or six individual new discoveries. Then we took a break and said, okay, now let's plan to go in with our second phase, which we started on July 15th of this year, and start quantifying what we discovered in phase one, basically blocking out how much mineralization there is there, or there will be in our major discoveries we made in phase one. The other thing to note is between our two phases, we came into uh, a collection of historic data that basically showed that the three historic mines actually ended in mineralization, had seen some drilling between 1960 and 1980 that indicated that the historical mines ended in mineralization and continued. Um, the deepest hole I think drilled was about 100 meters below the, the lowest level of the mine and was still in mineralization. So what we did is we started up our phase two, we put one rig on a new discovery we made that was called the Europa Guadalupe, it's several kilometers west of the historical veins. Um, in our first phase we drilled a virgin target there, hit 8 meters of 1700 grams silver, about 2300 grams silver equivalent per ton over 8 meters. Um, so we have one rig drilling there right now, and then we have one rig at what we call our Promontorio vein. It was a historical 70 million ounce producer. We're drilling below that as we speak. The other thing just to note is what differentiates us from a lot of other silver plays is our veins are wide. You know, we're talking about our new discovery being 8 meters wide. Promontorio exceeded 20 meters in mind width, so these things are wow. big, rich, wide systems that, you know, we're producing over a kilo per ton silver over those 20 meters.
Wow, that's impressive. When can investors expect results from the current drill program at Alamos? So what we're going to be doing with our drill results is we're basically going to be putting them into sort of two camps. One is going to be focused on a Europa Guadalupe brand new discovery that we're drilling off. The other news flow is going to come from Promontoria where we're drilling off um, the left behind mineralization. We're not drilling sort of the, what we call the remnants, but it's the new stuff that's never been mined at depth. And so those news releases, we expect to get two out probably in mid to late September of this year. Okay, right around the corner. Now, besides Alamos, you have a portfolio of district scale projects. Would you tell us about any of your other projects that you are particularly excited about? Yeah, back in 2015 and 16, you know, it was sort of the bottom of the bear market. We were looking, besides Alamos, we we're also looking at distressed uh, opportunities. And one of them that came along was a project called the Tabicha Project. It's seen over $8 million worth of drilling, actually has a starter silver resource on it. But it's a silver district located directly adjacent to Fortuna Silver San Jose Mine. That's a multi-million ounce silver mine. Um, it's doing, I believe, about 4 million ounces per year. And we have the entire silver district directly to the east of it. There's wow. been a lot of drill results. There's a lot of these sort of 200, 250 gram, over 30 to 35 meter wide intercept. So it's high grade, it's wide. That's an area we're going to be doing some work on this year. Uh, we're also going to be doing a fair bit of work on our Santa Marta um, high-grade gold copper VMS where we basically control an entire VMS district. This is a district where we've had uh, independent uh, consultants such as Jim Franklin come down. He's sort of the grandfather of, or the godfather I should say, of VMS districts. He came down said this is the best looking undrilled VMS he's seen in his 50-year career. Wow. Uh, also, some of your viewers may know individuals such as David Lowell of Copper Porphyry fame, uh, founder of Equinox Gold. He came down and in a subsequent Sprott conference here in Vancouver, he said that this was a, a project that uh, he believes there's a 50% chance of hosting a major mine. Wow. We're drill permitting it as we speak. Once we get those, we will mobilize rigs and start drilling that project. But ultimately, 90% of our time and money is focused on the Alamos project. Now, Minerum has attracted a strong shareholder base. Can you tell us a bit about who is betting on you right now? Yeah, so in the, in the middle of the bear market, we ended up transitioning our shareholder base over to Europe, looking for longer term investors. And we've typically found that European investors, we're talking private equity funds, uh, generalist investors, family offices, investors like that, they knew our track record of discoveries. They know that you know our teams discovered over 300 million ounces of silver and over 16 million ounces of gold in Mexico. And they wanted to see, basically bet on the jockey for Minorum. So we brought them in and they have been basically foundational shareholders ever since. About a year ago, we decided it's time to come back to North America and start diversifying our shareholder base again. So we've, since then, we've brought in groups like the SILJ, Junior Silver Producers ETF that's listed in the New York Stock Exchange. We brought in, of course, Mr. Silver, Eric Sprott, Sprott Asset Management out of Toronto, um, Sprott USA, Rick Rules Group is in our stock. Um, and then we've also picked up analyst coverage from Michael Gray out of Agentis Capital. So that's basically where we sit today. Where we're going with that is we would like to ultimately in the next two to three years um, get a main board U.S. listing, go to the sort of the junior level of the New York Stock Exchange just to attract that more that many more eyeballs to the story. I think that's a great idea. That's only going to bring in more shareholders and more investing. Now, what is the best way for investors to get in touch with you, Daryl? Uh, best way is please visit our website at menorum.com. Uh, you can click there to follow us on Twitter and LinkedIn. We also have a great YouTube channel that has interviews, not just on Menorum, um, but also on, with industry professionals such as Brent Cook, Joe Mazumdar, Adrian Day, uh, Byron King that discuss economics and sort of larger, bigger picture mining issues. Uh, you can find that at, at Menorum Gold uh, on uh, YouTube. And please, if you have any emails, uh, you'd like to contact us, subscribe to our email list. You can reach us at info at menorum.com. Oh, this is so great. Thank you so much for your time today. This is the CEO and president of Menorum Gold. Daryl Rader with Rich from Rich TV Live. Thank you guys for watching.